Hello everyone. Today in math, we are going to express each improper fraction as mixed or whole number. Now, look at this fraction. It's improper fraction, right? Because the numerator is a bigger number and denominator is a smaller number. So this is improper fraction. This improper fraction you need to change into mixed number. So what do you do? Before we start, we need to first represent this number in the form of figure. Okay. What's the denominator? 2. So we'll draw a circle. Okay. And divide the circle into two equal parts. 1 and 2. Now, you need to, you need to shade 5 parts. 1, 2. It's only 2. So you need to draw one more circle. Divide it again into two equal parts. And you need to shade 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we need one more. Draw one more circle. Divide it into two equal parts. All the figures have to be divided into two equal parts. Because 2 is the denominator. Then shade 5 parts. Okay, let's start shading. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got it? Now here, in this figure, you can see these two are whole numbers. You draw a line here. These two are whole numbers. Okay. Now, see. We'll first take this figure. What is the denominator? 2. 2 will be the denominator because each figure is divided into two equal parts. So, 2 is the denominator. Now, in this one, how many parts are shaded? 1, 2, 3. Three, four. Four parts are shaded before you write down here. Plus, now this one. The figure is divided into two equal parts. So, two will be the denominator. And in this one, how many parts are shaded? Only one. So, right here, one. Got it? Okay. Now, this four by two. This is four by two. This is actually, how many whole numbers are there? One, two. So, this means two. Plus 1 by 2 will give you, now you simply remove the plus sign, 2 plus 1 by 2 will give you 2 whole numbers and 1 by 2. Got it? Thank you. Okay, look at the second question. 17 by 10. Represent this in the form of figure. What is the denominator here? 10. So divide the figure into 10 equal parts. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We need 17 parts to be shaded. So that means you have to draw one more figure and divide it again into 10 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So each figure is divided into 10 equal parts. Now you need to shade 17 parts. So Shade 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Got it? Now this is the whole figure. So you draw a line here. Now see, we'll first consider this one. What will be the denominator? Obviously 10. How many parts are shaded here? All 10 parts. Plus now this one. What is the denominator? 10. Out of 10, how many parts are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 parts are shaded. 10 by 10 means this one. So this is one whole figure, right? So right here, 1. Plus 7 by 10. And this can be written as 1 whole 7 by 10. Okay, now let's represent this improper fraction into mixed number. So you first draw the diagram. Draw a circle and you divide it into how many parts? Six equal parts. So divide it into one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. And you'll shade seven. But this is only six. So we need one more circle. Divide it into six equal parts. And now we'll shade seven parts. 
see the denominator 6 means divide the figure into 6 equal parts. 7 means you have to shade 7 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This is the whole number. So you make a line here. Now, see this figure. What will be the denominator? 6. How many parts are shaded here? 6. Plus, what is the denominator? 6. How many parts are shaded here? 1. 1. 6 by 6. This is 6 by 6. So this is one whole number. You can see only one number here or one whole figure here. So 1 plus 1 by 6 will give you one whole number and 1 by 6. 11 by 5. So we'll draw a diagram and divide the diagram into how many equal parts? 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to shade 11 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So draw one more. Divide it into 5 equal parts. 5, 10. So we need to draw one more figure. Divide it into 10 equal, 5 equal parts. Now, we've drawn the figure and divide it all into 5 equal parts. We need to shade 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. These two are whole figures, so draw a line here. Now, see this part, the whole figure part. What is What will be the denominator? Obviously, 5. How many parts are shaded? 5 and 5, 10. Here, what is the denominator? 5. How many parts are shaded? 1. Okay, 10 by 5. This is 10 by 5. How many whole figures are here? 2. So here you'll write 2 plus this you'll write as it is. So your answer will be 2 whole. 1 by 5. Got it? Have a look at this last question. 15 by 5. So you'll draw a circle and divide it into 5 equal parts. 5 equal parts. We need to shade 15. But this is only 5. So draw one more. 5 and 5, 10. So we need to draw one more. And we've divided all the figure into 5 equal parts. 5. Now shade 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now here I can see only whole figures. All the circles are shaded. So what will be the denominator? Obviously 5. All parts are shaded 5, 10, 15. Got it? So this means it's a whole number. There is only a whole number here. 1, 2, 3. 3 whole figures are here. So here the answer will be only 3. 3 is the whole number. Thank you.